Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sanity Daily. Oi, wow. We're going through such trying times. But Baruch Hashem, they didn't quarantine us from using the, uh, the technology in order to spread the words of Torah. So, let us continue. Now, we know it's now within 30 days before the Holy Yom of Pesach. I'd like to start off now advancing in our Sefer to a chapter called Maya De Hashem, uh, the holidays of Hashem, and Shalosh Regalim, the Shalosh Regalim. Now I'd like to do this for a few reasons. Number one, uh, in yesterday's parsha, those of us that were zeichet to hear the parsha, we spoke about the Shalosh Regalim. We spoke about the Shalosh Regalim. We also mentioned the Chet Egel. What's the connection between the Shalosh Regalim and the Chet Egel? So Nelson brings many times in Nachman that no matter what, no matter no matter what we did, no matter what we did, we always have to focus on the good, focus on the kudat teiva, focus on something positive. It's always so easy to be dragged down, to be dragged down by the eights are be be dragged down by situations. I speak to people, I say, I, I can't go to shul, I'm depressed, I'm down. Oh, why? If the Ratzin Hashem is to stay home, so stay home. Why are you going to shul? You're only going to shul to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, it's really good item, to stay home, so you stay home. <laughs> What's the difference? You're doing Ratzin Hashem. If you're doing going to shul for your own purpose, because you want to socialize, so then that's not Ratzin Hashem. That's not, you're not doing the Dvar Hashem. You're doing your own Watson. So that's Aleph. Bays. Bays. The Maya de Hashem are there to, to infuse into us, that we have to infuse into ourselves Simcha. Right? And how do you know that? We always sing the song on Yom Tov, right? Where does the Simcha come from? Why? Just because the calendar day comes, it's now the 15th of, uh, of Nisan, it's Pesach. Oh, now I'm besimcha? Right? Does it come? Because it's, uh, it's true. It's, oh, I'm right away. Now I'm besimcha? Where does it come from? Let us learn what, where, and how to evoke this simcha. So, here we go. We're going to take it away. Ayadeya simcha v'sholish v'golem zoichin lara panim. Through the simcha of Shalat Regalim, you get the Or HaPanam. We're going to explain what that is. And through that, it's Mechaya. It gives life to the Seichel the Kedusha. See, today, our Seichel the Kedusha is being attacked by the news, by media, you know, and, and everything else. But Seichel the Kedusha, our intellect of holiness, and that's how you come to attain elikus. Now, how do you do that? Says the Rebbe in Beis. Ikra simchahi min ha mitzvahs. Ah, ah. The main simcha comes from vayas doing mitzvahs. Now, even if you're home, you could do plenty of mitzvahs. You get up in the morning, maidani. Then what you do, you wash negelvasa. A gewaldik. I did two mitzvahs already. Look at this. Then I go and I, I, I use the restroom, right? I say, Asha Yotza. Whoa, another one. And then I, I, I go and I go and I get dressed. All right, and then, and then I put on my tzitzis. I get faldic, get faldic. Right, if you're making a brach on the tzitzis, if you're, if you're, if you're a cotton, okay? If, you, if, you, if you're a godol, you're only making the, the brach on the talus godol. And you're having in mind the tzitzis. Okay, fine. Look at all these mitzvahs I got. Amazing. And then, and then I go to, I, I, I say brachas, I say birchas atayra, I, I say the brachas, and I work on focusing on the mayor brachas in every day, the whole, the hundred brachas of each day. See, that's the simcha, that you are a yid, that you're a Jew, out of the billions of people in the world, how many are we already? And yet, I was chosen to be able to make these brachas? I have to cherish them. Some people just go, no, 
Baruch Ata Hashem Elikeinu Melech Who I love. That's how you say a bracha. You say the bracha. You understand what you're saying. You think of the words. Vika Simchu Belev. Ah, the main point of the simcha is in the heart. In the heart. You see, people would think that simcha is in the mind. Now you think of something, this, but it's in the lave. That means it work. Your 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 mind has to communicate with the heart, and the heart conjures up the simcha. Kiko chad kipum ma de meshaya belibe gedulas habayri viyichudasai vachdusai is bal shemay because each and every one of us understands Hashem in a different way, right? We understand that Shem is is his his oneness, and and his and and, and the greatness of the Rabbi Nishalem. Everyone understands it differently. There's no two people that understand the Rabbi Nishalem the same way. Every single mitzvah that you get to do, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, if you call someone and you wish them a good day and they will give you a bracha, you give them, or you give them a, a, a pruta for tzedakah, or, or you learn a blat kemari in the daf yoymi, or you learn a dvar alocha. Whatever you're doing, you're being mad as sedra, you're learning the hilchas, your halachas of Pesach, because you, that's what you're trying to do, because you're trying to prepare for the Yom Tov. These are all mitzvahs. That I merit to do the Ratzon of Hashem. That's the Ratzon of Hashem. Let us not get mixed up what the Ratzon of Hashem is and what my Ratzon is. Let us not mix that. Let's not cross that line. The Ratzon Hashem is the Ratzon Hashem. And if the Ratzon Hashem is that I stay and I do things from the house, I do things from the house. And I'll do that with simple. I'll do that with a smile. And you know something, you go to shul, they tell you, uh, for, 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 uh, uh oh, when you, they say the carbonus, brachas, the carbonus, they give you five minutes. And then you have only seven, eight minutes to get to, to, to Kriyashma. And then you get the three minutes to get to Shmita. You're at home. Take your time. Sit down. Relax. Take out, if you have an art school, sit there. Learn a little bit the parish Hamilas. Enjoy the davening. Take your time. What's the rush? And take, cherish the time. Cherish the moments. Is eternal. is forever. See all the all the mitzvahs that we do throughout the entire year. Every day we have to work on gathering together and thinking through what he accomplished this day. And then I collectively take all those days. Perhaps you want to even take something else, give you an idea, take a little notebook. Write down every day something that made you besimcha. Write it down. Write down something that um, a special mitzvah you did today. Something you did that you were very proud of yourself that you got to do. Amazing. Write it down. And then look through those days and see what you have so much, so many beautiful things that you did. Givaldic. It's Givaldic. We're going to stop over here. I can go on to this for hours, but I really went over my time. Right? I'm sorry, everybody. But again, just remember, no matter what, what, what's going on in our lives, we're serving the Rabbi Nishalayim. We're not doing things for our own intent. It's what the Rabbi Nishalayim wants. And if the Rabbi Nishalayim wants us to do this or that, we do it the simcha. Thank you for listening to this class. And again, if this class is helping you, please, I ask you to share these classes with your family and friends. You can also sign up to all the other wonderful programs that you could do now at home. From Yeshiva Tereshim and Baruch Hashem, we're sending out Shirim every day. It's all done remotely, uh, all through the internet. So you get an email every time. You can look up on the WhatsApp and whatever you want. Right? So please, thank you so much for listening. And stay strong and be with Simcha.